Everything is running at 60 frames a second, basically locked to refresh rate, so everything is buttery smooth. Smooth like baby's bottle. <laughs> I love that. And so uh, it has these, these, uh, these folders and all kinds of great applications. About 14,000 new applications are coming into the marketplace each month. And now with an install base of 250 million Android devices, the number one app for iPads. And, uh, and as you know, a lot of people use these tablets to take pictures. And wouldn't it be great to make them better or to stylize it? This is an amazing application that you guys created. Um, you know, instead of instead of me I don't matter and I know it's so much better. Could you could you tell people about this application sure. and uh, give them an example of how incredibly simple it is to improve your photographs and why it is that this is the number one application for the yeah. app. Get it, sure. So what you see here is our interface. It's kind of straightforward. You have on the left hand side a lot of tools you can pick from. I will use the drama here to show quickly how the interaction is. Because that's, that's the only thing you need to know and learn about Snapseed. Um, it's a purely touch UI. It's something we have optimized for, um, for you're touch. Looking at, you're looking at the entire user interface right now. Exactly. That there is, there is, when I first launched it, I thought, gosh, there's either a manual, there's some drag down, there's, there's nothing. This is it. Exactly. As soon as you touch it, everything shows up. Exactly. You touch it, you move your finger up and down, you see here, and you can select the parameter. And then you can go left and right to adjust it. So I go down here, change saturation, I go back up, and you see the saturation coming up again. And that, that's all you need to know. So that's why I'm just take it down a little bit because I want to wow. make the background less prominent. Change the size influence area a little bit. If you see up here, there's still probably a little too bright. Take that down. And again, it's the same interaction. So what you've learned before, up and down to select the parameter, is something that you do here also. It's the exact same interaction. So as I said, you learn yeah, once you Now all of a sudden the couple really popped. Now let's compare it. Yeah. That's really amazing. Isn't it amazing, guys? Yeah. Can you guys see this? HD gaming, 60 frames a second. And now these guys are all playing each other over the land. So this brings a new way of enjoying video games on mobile devices. You would think that it's a mobile device and therefore it's connected by nature. Wouldn't it be great if you could enjoy it in this multiplayer set of documents? Um, but the concept of being able to remote into your PC and have the full fidelity of your PC and the full capability of your PC is, uh, was never, never possible. And today, what I thought I would do is show you guys for the first time the ability for splash top to remote into your PC. Now I'm remoting into uh, through this wire here. If it wasn't because of all of you guys, we'll do it wirelessly, but it doesn't really matter. Uh, we wire it into this PC here. Now this PC has a GeForce GPU in it, and so it's it's wonderful. It's high performance, and um, uh, I would just love to be able to sit on the couch and enjoy it and so let's let's enjoy it a bit here um, one of the one of the first applications I I think uh, would be kind of fun to to uh, enjoy hey Jonathan this is music from my generation <laughs> That's enough of that, huh, guys. I think I can probably do some of this. I usually like listening to Timberlake when I'm doing Facebook. Everything just works. Everything just works. PowerPoint. Look at that, everything just works. Video? There's no way video's gonna work. There's no way this can possibly work. Wow, it just works. The great Carl Reeves. So this is Splash Top THD. Yes, we're in danger. 
which allows your Tegra tablet to remote into your PC, treat it like a server, and everything just works in the full resolution you like it to enjoy, every application, it's as if it's right here. Now, of course, um, you know, those things are, are relatively simple in the final analysis. So, so um, let's, <laughs> I hope I just didn't jinx myself. <laughs> so this is Skyrim. This is the latest game that just came out. And uh, this has been named one of the top games. You know what, instead of me playing, hey Jonathan, come up and play this for us. <laughs> you get up. You... Hey guys, this is uh, Jonathan Wendell. And, uh, I can genuinely say that we've known you since you were a kid. Exactly. Since I started professional gaming. <laughs> it's been about 12 years now playing games like this. And so can you guys imagine what's happening right now? So Jonathan, his controller, controlling this tablet. The tablet is streaming over to the PC. The PC renders the graphics. It compresses it, streams it back to the tablet, and it does it so fast that it's completely interactive. You can play the game. I mean, this, you can see right here, I'm uh, mask on the dragon, and it just blows up. I'm taking a soul right now. <laughs> but it's very responsive, me axing him and everything, so playing games becomes very possible. Uh, on this device. Wow, that's fantastic. Good job. Good job. Earth, you can look for restaurants, and then the entire web is now available on, in your car. If you can think about the type of applications we use in mobile devices today, imagine projecting that into your automotive, uh, your favorite car, and imagine the capabilities. Uh, the Audi A7 has won so many awards, and all highlight its ability to be connected and bringing the entire web experience, the entire mobile experience into the car. But this is not going to be the only one. In a few days, we're going to announce with Audi something really, really special. So keep your ear out for that. But the electric car is so energy conscious, it also needs, and because it's leaning forward technologically, it also benefits from the revolution of mobile computing for this particular car. Tesla Model S will have two Tegras in it, one for the digital dashboard and one for the infotainment system. And it, brings, it gives me great joy to know that even the fastest cars in the world would adopt the fastest mobile processors in the world. And the uh, Lamborghini Aventador uh, it is going to include a Tegra processor in it as well. So from super phones to super cars, we're going to see the mobile computing revolution revolutionize these devices, revolutionize the business models, and of course revolutionize the experiences that we have. I want to thank all, you all for coming today. Enjoy CES.